what's up you guys welcome back if you're new welcome and sorry i haven't been around as much this year i just i just work is literally killing me it is literally killing me okay so yeah <laughs> i just decided to uh join january and march together and we're just gonna do one big fat rewind because i just want to get them over with like it's march and i'm working on january hello let's just combine it get it all done be done with it moving on right okay so let's do that we're gonna go back we're gonna talk about the january box and the february box and uh give you my thoughts on the stuff that i got in them uh, okay so let's start off with january okay the wonder beauty sweet escape palette um this retails for 42 dollars. i was very excited about the purples in there if you'll remember because i was like oh <gasps> Yay, it's not just a boring, bland, neutral palette, because that's what I assumed it was going to be. Um, here's the color story, if you need a reminder. The In the Clouds light purple that I used was Patchy the House Down Boots. So I jumped to another palette, a uh, the uh, Nomad Cosmetics Mont Verde palette, to get all this purple, because this purple was not giving. It was Patch Adams. It was awful. So then I thought, okay, I'll try the shimmers. Um, I used this uh, little pinky purple holographic kind of looking thing in the inner corner. That was lovely. I uh, used this and on holiday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So then I used this shade and this shade on the lid. And they were so dry and dusty, like they were on my cheeks before I knew it. So that was no. <laughs> it was a big bad no. Even the pretty, pretty sparkly shimmers look pretty, but they flake off really, really bad. So I was not happy with that at all. Um, I did end up, where did I put it? Oh no. Okay. I did end up using the uh, liquid... Uh, shimmer that came in the February box over the lid as well and as you can see she is glorious with the base which I figured she would be she had the sparkle she just needed a base to really shine so I guess Wonder Beauty did that for us thanks thanks for that okay um, up next we have the Olympus balancing lavender toner it smells wonderful um, I can't really tell if it did anything good for my skin. I haven't used it a whole, whole lot. Um, but it smelled nice and it didn't irritate my skin. So we'll go with that. Uh, but I've been doing like a lot of, um, I found, oh my gosh, huge find at TJ Maxx. I found like a whole like gift set of old Henriksen skincare for like $25. So I've been doing that. <laughs> so I really can't tell if the, the Limits did anything for me because I haven't used it a whole lot because I was like, Old Henriksen, yes! Because, like, it's expensive, but it's so good. Find it at TJ Maxx for $25? You better buy it. You better snatch that because, whoo, that's a, that's a steal. That's a steal. It's like $80, I think, at regular price. Um, up next, we have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara for $24. Is it worth $24? Absolutely freaking not. You're paying for the name, you're paying for the packaging. Um, drugstore mascaras do the exact same job that that did. It does a good job. Um, I wore it at work one day, so it did stand the test of like a nine hour shift in a restaurant and it did not flick off, it didn't irritate my eyes. It's a good mascara. I just, you know, there are drugstore brands that can do just the same job, so that's the tea there. It's a good mascara. If you find it on sale or, you know, whatever, snag it. Sure. But don't go out of your way for that. There's there's cheaper mascaras that do the same thing. You don't have to do all that, okay? Um, Lovecraft Beauty Plasma Gloss. I never did find the lid for this. I never did. <laughs> She's just been floating around. Um, I really, I wanted to love this. Okay, it's $18. I feel like that's a really good price for the amount of product that you're getting, especially. Um, I just wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it because when it goes on, it's actually very sheer. So if you were going to use it for like an eye shimmer or something, like 
it's not going to do what you think it's going to do. Um, I thought it would be cute as like kind of a, a bronzy blush moment. So I thought, okay, I'll try it as that. And it did not really blend out very well. I tried it over here. I don't know if you can tell the difference between... Because I went over it with another blush. But like, <laughs> I tried it over here and it did not work out right <laughs> at all. So I was like, okay, that's not going to work. And I can tell from how it was going on over here that it would not work in an eye look very well. And so I ended up putting it on the lips. And as you can see, it's, you know, there's like a faint hint of like a little bit of an ombre going on here. But like, it's very opaque. So I'm really just not sure what to do with this. But for $18, you get a lot of product. I'm not mad at that. It's just, I don't know what to do with the product. Because, <laughs> like, I don't do a lot of bronzy looks. I feel like if you are one of those people that does, like, a very bronzy, like, kind of no makeup makeup, you know, fresh face makeup kind of look or something, and you just want, like, a little bronze on the eyelid, like, this would probably work for you. But that's not the kind of makeup that I do, so... I don't know what to do with this and I lost the lid so I can't give this away I'm stuck with it so that <laughs> and then we had the item beauty by Addison Ray quick stick moisturizing lip color this is basically a tinted lip balm from using it and honestly it's the kind of lip balm that like after you've put it on a few hours later you're having to like get it out of the corners of your mouth you know that kind of like it all just like mushes to the outside um, I didn't enjoy that, so I didn't use it a whole lot, but it was moisturizing, it's just I don't like having to constantly, you know, get goop out of the corners of my mouth, so <laughs> I've really been on like a lip oil kick because those don't do that, they soak into the lips, so there's, there's that. Lip oils, they're, they're just as good as lip balms and they don't have that like residue. You know, like, I, ugh, I'm not into that. Okay, so that was the January box. We already went over this from the February box. Um, the other thing I was going to try from the February box was this EVO Skin Lip Serum. I have been absolutely in love with this. It soaks right into the lips and it has that uh, peppermint oil in it. So it's very tingly and uh, it's been really nice. I really like this. Um, the other thing... <laughs> The only other thing that I was going to do, this is the box that there was like two things that I wasn't going to review, um, was the scrubber. Why is it yellow on one end? Wh why? I tweeted this out and nothing, like I got no replies or anything, but I was like, it's yellowing. I literally just took it out of the box to use it and it was like that. And I was like, <laughs> so yeah. I <laughs> I used it once and I tried to avoid like the yellow end and it didn't irritate my skin or anything, but like I'm sketched out to use it because th why is it yellowing? Why? How long has it been sitting in the warehouse, Boxy? Like, grawl. So this was this. This is our huge fat rewind because <laughs> I'm behind. All right. So sorry that I got so behind. But I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I will see you in the March Boxy Lux unboxing. I have no idea what's going to go on with that. And then uh, next month, it's been taken over by Ipsy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I We're going to talk into this in, in another a future soon-to-happen video. Um, I may be jumping ship again, because if you'll remember, I started with Ipsy, and I didn't like it, so I switched to BoxyCharm. Now BoxyCharm got bought by Ipsy like last year and you know so far things were kind of much the same so I was like okay I'll stick with it but now we're having to log in through Ipsy starting next month and then we get more choices but they also up the price on everything so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this I'm going to wait and see what the choices are and if it's kind of lame I think I might just end BoxyCharm which you know will be the sad end of like three years of me doing BoxyCharm but like I've already got something in the works, don't worry, don't worry, we'll still have some unboxings, but like, um, I'm just not impressed with BoxyCharm and then all of this is happening and I'm like, I might leave. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye!